Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. Today's system is from the user Nick118 in Discord so massive thank you to them for sending in their simulation. But without further ado everyone, let's get straight into this. So if we go and uh, check it out here, there it is, the Azel system here. And this system uses the new feature in the game of the individual object descriptions. Now we haven't been encouraging this with our rules and regulations for submitting but we've had a recent rethink about it. And we think we're going to start, um, or we're going to change up the regulations to allow this. Because the issue, the main issue is, or before we read it, if I just go on a planet here. So I say this one. Obviously it has a bio, you can see it there. But then this box is in the way. So I'd have to keep closing this and reopening it back and forth. And it get a bit annoying. So I'm thinking we may just use the objects only or only use this first box as like a induction kind of description. And then you go onto the object separately and then you never have to open this again. But, with that all said and done. Let's actually get into the system. So, welcome to the Azel system, a triple star system that hosts 11 planets, which one would be Hattable, one dwarf planet, and numerous moons. The system does host life on one single planet which orbits in the Hattable zone of Azel. It is known that some of the moons do not um, by far have the most unusual surface colorations ever seen for any circle object, both in the universe and the whole Azel trinary system as a whole. So, trail color meaning. Red is not Hattable to being too hot. Okay. Green is Hattable. I like the colour code in my build. This is pretty cool. Blue is obviously too cold. Okay. And then please read. Hey guys, hope you like the system. Due to it taking me longer than I wanted to. Finally fished it. If you want to use my objects, please ask me on Discord. So there you go, Nick118. As a whole, hope you enjoyed it. Okay, so we're going to close that now. So we never have to go in that again. And now we can read the individual bios here. So this is kind of the template. Or this system may be a good template for how to make your own systems if you want to submit them. Um, in the future as well. So we've had our little induction page there, and now we're on to the individual objects. So, Azel, the main star of the system. It's a G-type star that is comparable to the sun in some ways. It is the host of seven planets, which one of them is suitable for life. Very nice. Okay, so it's a nice short bio. I like that. Okay. First of the planets here. Avorst. I hope I'm saying that right. It's turning goggles off. Always like a maximum brightness. Yes, there it is. So, first rocky planet. Fast rotating rocky well is um, comparable to the most boring rocky welds out there in the universe. This super earth does have some interesting material deep in its surface. Okay. Alrighty. Second planet out. Belgio. So I'm guessing Venus all over here. A hostile super earth that had CO2 and methane rich atmosphere, which gives its world its hostile look. No one has ever made an attempt to land on it due to concerns of terrible dust storms that occur very regularly. Okay, so it's kind of like a mix of Mars and Venus here. 161 Celsius. There it is. Interesting. Okay. Mars-Venus hybrid. Nice. Next up, we have the Hattable world. Here it is. Sapraeus. It's the third planet and the largest of the three rocky planets. It is the host um, of its main advanced species that can handle the stronger gravity and have a good understanding of their home system. So it's a super rough as well, more massive. There it is. Looking very nice. Cool. All right. Has a moon as well. Regular moon that does have a mining colony on its surface due to its useful material and minerals. There it is. Cool. Right, moving on. This one here. Savisa. It's really dark. Let's turn the goggles on. There he is. Typical dwarf planet orbits between the planets of Supress and Mindavor. The world is being used as a mining colony. Okay. Nice. Next up we have this one here. Gas giant. Mindavor. The most massive planet of the system. You could say it's the Jupiter of the system due to it being more massive and larger than the planet of Jupiter. And is the most massive and largest uh, planet of the Azel system. Those whole came to the system because this gas giant to be the inner system's guardian due to its powerful gravity and large size. Nice. So we've got the moons. It's the first moon here. It's a moon that features some unusual landforms scattered around the moon, which is unclear what caused it. Nice. Next up we've got this one, Nesso. Host its own volcanoes as it replenishes its surface. There's some other interesting things as well. Alrighty. Pillet. Main moon that gives uh, everyone the interest of what could be hiding below its calm surface. Okay. Kind of like Ganymede, I guess, in a way there. And then lastly, this one here. Nothing too interesting going on in it. So that's see maybe actually a Callisto here. So I can see some Galilean moon resemblances here, especially because that other one was like an Io volcanic world. And there's the closest one. Of unusual things, kind of like Uranus's, or not Uranus, sorry, Europa's cracks on its surface. Okay, next up we have this one, Isidone. 
Second gas giant it is what you'd expect for a typical gas giant. Some people consider this planet to be very storm active during its peak storm times. Nice. Let me have this one. The school. Strange and major move with an unusual coloration on its surface that can be a very dark green coloration with spots of the black material scattered in some areas of its surface that give it this interesting. Okay. Death scale. Frozen world, nothing too crazy going on except for the possibility of life below its sheets of ice. It's kind of like Enceladus, Europa kind of world there. Less scale, very colourful. The weirdest of all the major moons due to its surface's weird coloration. Very bizarre. Next up, we've got this one as well. Same reason, unusual coloration. Nice. For the green moon. Mm. Most distant of the moons, the only major moon to have an atmosphere. Very cool. Nitrogen atmosphere. There it is. Ooh, underneath. It's got liquid on it. Now, what is that? Liquid nitrogen and okay. Ah, liquid nitrogen. Nitrogen, liquid and gas atmosphere going on there, alright. And we have this one. Aliso. The third gas giant and the first ice giant. The planet is the largest of the two icy ice giants and the third largest planet only behind the other two, which is the fastest rotating in the system. Okay. Moons. Regular major moon that is frozen with some scattered around ice around it. Okay. Many moons this system which has a rather smooth surface. Um, which this moon just has some craters on the surface. Okay. Major moon that is not too interesting though. Some people wonder what it could be below its surface. Very nice. Cool. Moving on we have this one. Restico. It's really pink. A very large freezing cold planet that does in fact feature its own complexity of landforms and materials in the surface. It is the most chaotic dwarf planet in the whole system. Okay, it's got two moons. The first moon, tiny but spherical. Let's have a strange surface appearance just like its parent dwarf planet. Second moon, underground cave system. Larger of the two moons. Okay, nice. There's those guys. Next up, we've got this one. Another gas giant. The last planet to orbit Azel. This planet is the least massive of the Jovians and the fourth largest planet in the system. Most people state that this planet is the most coolest in the coloration for any Jovian and any gas dwarfs. The planet takes the longest to rotate. 0 0.92 days. Nice. There is something over there. What's that? Um, the only moon. The ice world is notable for its vast ocean plus icy crust, which some people believe life exists below the crust. Okay. Again, like Europa in the way. That's what's going on over here. Another stars. Second star. So, G, G, how do you say that? Degaius is a typical K type star, also known as Azel B to some people. Just like you call Azel to be Azel A. So, this has its own planets, which none of them are suitable for life that we know of. So, first of the planets here Hot Rock, larger than planet Earth. There you go. Second planet out. Very interesting colours. Nightmarish planet is not safe for anyone due to its hostile condition. It will melt things with its sulfuric rain and its ability to smell like rotten eggs along with the smell of it. It's how I wanted to fart. So not a pleasant place to live. Breathe that in all day. There it is. 168 degrees hot as well. That's, a, some, that's some hot stuff. Okay, Echo here. Typical ice hole that features a typical icy crust, noted for its deep underground oceans. We've got quite a lot of those worlds in there. You can see it's receiving a faint bit of light from the other star behind as well. I think the gas giant back there was as well, featuring light from this star. And what's that? Uh, this one? Ooh. Ice giant and the largest planet orbiting the other star. It is nothing too crazy about ice giants, but it's what you'd expect. Okay. There's moons. First are two major moons. The moon doesn't have much going for it in terms of appearance. The second major moon, the planet named that this moon is most notable for the two interests, its minerals and below its surface. Okay. Cool. Okay, so moving on, so we've got the third star over here. What's this? The Azel C. So this is Wells or Longest to orbit. Ooh, so it's got 22 objects. Here it is. First of the objects. Tidelock Super Earth. It's some unusual materials scattered on the surface that give it its unusual coloration over the other worlds. 
Nice. And then over here. Small dwarf planet orbs in the red dwarf. It isn't the most notable of the two worlds. Then what's this? Typical cold dwarf planet that orbits. What did you expect? Okay, cool. It's the only major moon with a dwarf planet. While this moon is its, like its parent dwarf planet, despite being a base rocket, it does have an interesting surface appearance. Okay, there you go. A bit of green and red going on there. Nice. And then lastly, what is this? This is an ice giant. It's all on its own, very far away. There he is. Freezing cold, distant ice giant with a mystery of what it looks like. It's the system's coldest hole, it's minus 266, which is amongst the coldest temperatures of planet orbs in the star. Two moons. Covered in ice, deep layer liquid water. So again, it's another Europa Enceladus kind of like world. Frozen ocean underneath, or liquid ocean. Final of the two moons. Polar offset, reflective and dark. It's believed there's some tiny spots of reflective material on the surface. So there you go. And that does it for the system. So they're in pitch dark. You'll never even see the planet in the sky. Maybe just a dark s sphere blocking the stars out when it crosses by. But there you go. So that is the lineup. Quite nice gas giant customization in this one. I quite like this one as well. This was a cool looking design. The lore behind it as well was interesting. <laughs> there it is. But um, yeah, that was said done, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed this system. If you did, press that like button down below as well. Um, again, a massive thank you to the creator, Nick118, for sending in the simulation. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And yeah, that was send done, everyone. Hopefully, um, yeah, like I said, you enjoyed it. Press that subscribe button. Helps on the journey to 50,000 subscribers, as always. Let's even go for 150 likes on this video. And yeah, make sure you have a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.